Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 24th, 2022. Well, yesterday turned out to be mostly just a hurry up and wait day. Um, our economic data yesterday morning was not good, but the bears really didn't become active. The, the um, bulls, um, were uh, kind of equally weighted. We just ended up doing an awful lot of chop. Now, although the bears kind of ended up winning the day just ever so slightly, it wasn't a very impressive day for either the bulls or bears. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. As you can see here in the chart, as I've got this marked up, we, we had broken this downtrend um, and we're looking um, a little, well, not a little, we were quite extended in the short term. So we were kind of expecting a pullback. As a matter of fact, we made some nice money on that on, on in right way options, catching that pullback. But watch this right in here, um, this price support area. This is gonna be the battle zone here for the bulls and bears. And we have some data coming today that could help us determine whether or not we're gonna get that moving or not. But as you can see, breaking this trend does create a little bit of an issue for us um, on the on the bearish side. If those bears um, were to maintain a lower high, so for example, we could rally back and still make that lower high and create that failure pattern in the chart, or we could set here and we could consolidate across this area and then make that determination whether the bulls or bears are going to activate in this trade the other thing that is certainly possible is that we could push down below the support and come down into this um, next level of support down in here now i will warn you that as we continue to slip the levels of support in the chart begin to diminish in their strength. So we'll want to watch that carefully if that were to occur. Um, if you're a bull, you're going to want to see us hold in here. Now we've had a little bit of bearishness um, in the market this morning. We've got European markets are flat to slightly lower. We've got Asian markets that were mostly down last night. And we're trying to react to some data here this morning. Um, and we're bouncing off of the lows right now here um, this morning so a little bit of back and forth here in that pre-market and honestly it's a lot of uncertainty that's going on um, in here as we try and figure out whether or not uh, some of this data is going to um, support the bulls or the bears if we look at our moving averages notice in here we're kind of fighting right along that 500 day moving average and a 34 ema right there that orange um, type line and those can be good support levels um, in the technicals of the chart but you also can't rule out that possibility if the, the bears do gain some control then we could slip back down toward that 50 and that would be a pretty normal reaction in the market you're going to see pretty much the same thing on all of the indexes one thing i wanted to point out here is if you look at the weekly chart here we've got a bit of an evening star pattern showing up here on the weekly now remember the week isn't over so this could change but uh, and you don't want to compare a weekly to a daily chart if you're swing trading but certainly that longer term is raising a, a little bit of concern here um, in the market it's going to be critical that we hold that support level um, on that weekly um, chart so watch that close now if we take a look at our um, SPY, very much the same situation where we kind of slipped below that upside trend. Unfortunately, here in this chart, you can see we broke down through this little level of price support right in here. And I shouldn't say little, because it's actually a fairly substantial level of price support. We slipped down below that, and yesterday we just kind of peaked underneath this uh, downtrend. Now, of course, that downtrend should be a much wider line and and um, uh, 
just barely peeking into there is really no big concern if we turn around and bounce back up. We also want to notice that there is this support level right in here in that chart. And that's a pretty good support level here for the moment. So if we can hold this area right in here and those bulls can find inspiration, then certainly we could rally back up to test some resistance in the charts. One thing I want to be pointing out here to you guys in the charts is we have kind of a island reversal pattern. Notice we have this gap in here. We have this gap here and that creates that island here um, on the chart. And we've got that on all four indexes. So we've got a little bit of that island reversal pattern going on. If we do hold in here, let's watch this area right in here for price resistance. If we can't push back up through and kind of fill this, this um, window here, then we could run into that potential lower high failure pattern. So watch, watch carefully. A um, lot of decisions are going to be made here over, uh, probably over the next couple of days um, that could impact the future direction of this market. If we take a look at QQQ, QQQ, very similar situation. You can see that island reversal. We've got a window here and a window here, leaving that island kind of behind there in that chart. And we've broken down below this trend. And I don't know that you could, you know, you could certainly draw this with a wider, um, wider line but i don't know that you could draw that a whole lot differently in that chart so we did fail back below that trend we're holding right here on this price support in the chart so we've got that decision to be made the bulls and bears will be locked into a battle to gain control um, in this area will those bulls find enough energy to find to um, inspire them to hold or will those bears find that energy? And I think we're just gonna have to wait and see. And once again, we're gonna have to kind of concentrate on that island reversal pattern if we do rally watch um, that area right in there on the chart. Last but not least is IWM and IWM was the only index that held on to some green yesterday. Um, even though we didn't leave a very bullish candle pattern behind, we left um, a little green in there on IWM holding on to a pretty critical support level in the chart. You can see if that support level gives, there's not a whole lot of price support below in that chart, except this downtrend that we broke. And we could certainly find some support on that if we do slip. Now, if those bulls come back in, we want to look at the same kind of pattern where we've broken that uptrend and there's that island reversal in there where we could um, find some resistance there in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. We've got some big decisions that are going to be made here over the next few days um, in our indexes. Let's take a look at our VIX. VIX um, kind of hovering here above 24 handles in the chart. We um, certainly broke this downtrend very quickly and that's one of the things that happens when we overextend a market the bulls get a little bit overzealous and then we push um push through a level pretty quickly um, in the selling but so far we haven't really been able to break back above this 25 handle here area here in the chart so i don't i'm not thinking this is terrible just yet um so watch that carefully if we hold this level of resistance in here then we could certainly pull that back if we can find some bullish inspiration in the market. If we find some bearish inspiration in the market and we pop above that 25, we're going to have to watch that closely. Popping above that 25 and holding that area uh, as support could be a critical factor here. So let's watch that close. And that's, again, one of these charts that's showing us that, boy, some big decisions are going to be made about the future direction of the market here. Um, and maybe even this week we'll have those decisions made. And then if we take a look at our T2122. Now, T2122 was interesting yesterday and then it popped up. And even though we had a little bit of that negative uh, price action in most of the indexes by the end of the day we still had that little bit of a rebound in t2122 so what that means is is we have opened up a bigger opportunity if if we find reason for bearishness in any of this data today we have certainly opened um, that opportunity for more downside in the market but if we find those bulls 
find that inspiration here in the market we certainly have plenty of upside room we will want to watch you know some price resistance levels and things like that but we certainly have that upside room in the chart that we could move on through to the upside so um, it's all going to come down to that date, I think, today and tomorrow, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Then if we look at our T2107, now T2107, we did pull back here in T2107, as you can see, but ever so slightly. So we're still holding that trend here in the chart, and we're still holding that downtrend break, and we're still holding some support levels in the chart. So. Uh, you gotta you gotta keep your fingers crossed if you're a bull because we're right at that point where that decision could be made and um, we'll see um, in the data T2108 is going to be very much the same in that we kind of relaxed and pulled back a little bit more yesterday broke that downtrend here in the chart and we're coming into some um, you know congestion area price support area in this chart so watch that carefully we're we're kind of right on that on that edge whether we're going to see those bulls or bears gain the advantage our t2101 i'm just going to um, pass right over t2101 and the reason i want to do that is if i go back to um, our charts here you'll notice that if we look at the spy and qqq pretty light volume on the day so i don't think we could really give a major edge to the bulls or bears yesterday in that choppy hurry up and wait session let's take a look at our um, economic calendar we've already got some data out here this morning um, on our economic data we just had our mortgage applications come in and they continue to show a negative um, declines in those mortgage applications which um, probably not a big surprise after we saw that decline in new home sales and boy a really bearish PMI flash number that that was not a, a good number so um, we've been able to kind of ignore some of those in favor of um, some of those earnings reports but we'll want to watch that because we're starting to get a little bit of that compounding effect beginning to happen um, hinting that our economy is slowing down now take a look we've got durable goods today this is a big number and right now the consensus is suggesting that we will come in with a decline in our durable goods number so again a little bit more of that impression if that does come in that way that our economy is slowing if it comes in better than that expectation then we could certainly catch that bullish move as well inspire those bulls pending home sales they're also expecting pending home sales to decline we'll want to keep an eye on that and then we got petroleum status and i'll talk about that here in just a little bit this could be important today because um, of the um, substantial um, spike that we saw yesterday in those energy uh, prices so watch that close we've got um um, a two-year note auction here to be thinking about we've got a five-year note auction to be thinking about here today and then keep in mind as you plan forward we could have a pretty hectic morning and then just do a whole bunch more of hurry up and wait choppy price action because then we're going to be waiting for that GDP number and jobless claims to come in on Thursday. Um, both of these could be interesting numbers coming up. So watch um, that closely and think about that as you're planning forward. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar isn't all that heavy. We have less than 30 companies on the calendar for today. But the majority of those are... Um, um, expected to report they've been confirmed so we've got like ADSK that will be reporting today you'll want to keep an eye on that and by the way a lot of these will be afternoon reports um, we've got box that will be reporting today CRM that's one of those potential market movers um, that we'll want to keep an eye on certainly not a very good pattern here where we're breaking that trend and kind of doing this rounding top but maybe that earnings report can make that difference in that chart uh, we're going to hear from NetApp app um, today so ntap 
keep an eye on that one. And then this afternoon, of course, um, NVIDIA will be probably our biggest notable. We got a little bit of problem here in this pattern as well. Notice that we've been rejecting this resistance of kind of a double top pattern with a little lower high right in there showing us a bit of an issue, but we haven't broken down this support yet. So a little bit of uncertainty in that chart that could the um, earnings report could be very telling here. Um, we're going to hear from Wolf. Keep an eye on that. Ooh, yeah, that one got that one got thumped on here just a little bit this morning. Uh, snow is in there as well. So keep an eye on some of these guys. Um, these are potential market moving um, reports this afternoon. So watch that close. And if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link below the title of the video, guys. That'll take you back to that morning uh, blog where you can get that full list. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find them to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and I will um, do my very best to answer um, all of those comments. Yesterday I missed because I had to run out for a dentist appointment, so I apologize I got behind, but I will be back on that case this morning. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. It helps the channel to grow, and I do truly appreciate it. Um, by the way, I want to be... Um, uh, I'm thinking about uh, picking up a um, public e-learning, um, um, YouTube live e-learning here very, very soon. So um, keep keep your eye out. It, I may even be able to get it put together by the end of this week. So if you guys are interested in that, keep your eye out for that YouTube live event coming up. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up for today. but. Remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. You need to be thinking very, very carefully about every trade. Make sure you understand the risk and that it fits your personal risk tolerance. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. Take a look at John Deere. John Deere had a good day yesterday popping up. This is a nice little upside trend. We consolidated this um, support area and then on up to the upside. So pretty interesting chart looking bullish. I would watch that one closely. Any rest or pullback in here um, could set up an opportunity. And you can see we had a little bit of a um, a wick up here that would might might suggest we might rest in here just a little bit more before we get going to the upside but watch that one close um, other places I think that were just extremely it was the story of the day really if we take a look at energy XLE XLE moving up sharply here yesterday breaking through some of that resistance holding and really spiking and if you look at some of these stocks like Devon Energy stretching up exxon mobile showing lots of strength and even into the refining area vlo um, moving up pretty strongly here in the chart um, just about everywhere you look in that energy sector um, oxy whoops um, oxy stretching up ar stretching up we just saw lots of oil and gas showing strength yesterday um, in the market. Now, will that continue to today? I can't say that it will with that uh, number that we have coming out uh, this morning could be a little bit telling. And if you caught some of the news, um, one of the reasons we caught that spike here in energy was simply because uh, OPEC is actually thinking about reducing production. Um, and that could create some pressure on those oil prices. So watch that closely. You might also want to take a look at things like natural gas. Natural gas, we broke through some resistance here in that natural gas. Pulled back yesterday, but you can see this morning we're already trying to push just a little bit higher. This trend right here might be a little bit on the steep side, but natural gas doesn't look like 
um, as we head toward winter, it's going to get any easier for those European company or countries. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at um, some of the commodity related stocks, um, take a look at um, ADM, Archer Daniels Midland. Um, took off yesterday with a nice little pop in here on that chart. Now we do have some resistance that we want to be thinking about in this chart, but it, it, it seems kind of odd to me that we saw so many of these ag related commodity related stocks moving to the upside. Notice CF here challenging some resistance. Um, we saw some of the defensive sector like Altria potentially setting up in the chart. Um, um, SJM, uh, another defensive SJM, um, setting up um, a, a nice upside move on its earnings. So, and we've seen an awful lot of, take a look at GIS holding in here. Some of these defensive sector food stocks um, have been holding up really, really strongly. And we've heard so much about food shortages that may be coming um, here in the around the world here recently um, it might be an interesting thing to be keeping an eye I know these are old boring companies but um, you know old boring companies can sometimes be really really profitable and like Hormel here moving up yesterday so watch some of those food energy um, commodity um, related uh, DBC po popping up corn um, um, commodity tracking on corn uh, pushing higher. So a lot of those food related stocks finding um, some energy, which is really, really interesting considering the fact that we continue to see um, our dollar hold up very, very strong. So watch that closely. These things could move around quite a little bit. So make sure you're planning your trades carefully and make sure you're prepared to protect your capital with stop losses. Never ever trade without knowing where your exit is in a in a position. So with that everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. I want to wish you all the best in your trading today. Have a good one.